Sony Vegas. Hey there, Robert here from robertsproductions.net, coming at you with yet another Vegas Pro 12 tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how importing and exporting projects has changed in Sony Vegas. With the latest update, Sony introduced Project Interchange tools, allowing you to exchange projects with other popular editing platforms. A few new protocols include importing and exporting to and from AAF files, which include Avid Pro Tools or Avid Media Composer, PPROJ files for Premiere and After Effects, XML for Final Cut Pro 7 or DaVinci Resolve, FCPXML for Final Cut Pro 10, and lastly, EDL text files. One thing to note is that they say you can import After Effects projects but the only format it accepts them in is .pproj, and After Effects produces .aep files. So I don't really see it importing After Effects projects unless they're in the Premiere Pro .pproj format. A little confusing, not sure why they even put After Effects in there unless you edited all the video in After Effects and exported it as a Premiere Pro file. Plus you gotta think After Effects works a lot differently than Vegas, and if they did allow .aep files, they'd probably only work on a single track without all the layers and effects and such. Let's go ahead and start off by importing a Premiere Pro project. I'm going to go into Premiere here and save this project. Now let's go back into Vegas, go to File, Import, Premiere File, find the Premiere project, Open it up and here we have the project imported into Vegas. If some elements weren't able to import, a little log message will display letting you know where the problems occurred. Keep in mind that this will only import the Premiere file, so whatever changes you make will be saved as a new Vegas file, meaning you can't save it and work with the Premiere profile directly in Vegas. You'll have to export it as one when you're done editing. Exporting a file is just as easy as importing. Go to File. Export. Choose your preferred format. Give it a name. You can choose whether or not to export the media pool. I'll choose yes since I want the media included. However, when exporting to Premiere Pro, I noticed it seems like it only exports to Adobe CS6 and above. So I'm still rocking CS5.5, so it didn't work for me. Being curious, let's go ahead and try exporting to Final Cut Pro 10. Let me just make a few changes here, add some text, see what happens. All right, now File, Export, Final Cut Pro. We can name this Test Project. Export the media pool, yes. You can see everything changed right here in this export log. Now let's switch over to Final Cut and see if this file works. File, Import, XML, test project import and here we have it looks like our text was removed which was probably mentioned in the log so there you have it that's it for the project interchange tools in Vegas Pro 12 if there's any feature you'd like me to touch on leave a comment below I've noted some that were already mentioned if you made it this far let me know it by typing huh in the comments below also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos like these, click the subscribe button up at the top. You can also subscribe to this individual show to only receive Vegas Pro 12 updates. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.